Don't move to Port Perry, Ontario. This is what I tell a lot of people when they ask me. Well, don't move until you've at least watched this video. Today, I'm gonna share with you the top five things I wish I knew before I moved to Port Perry, Ontario. Make sure you stick around to the end as the bonus tip may just change your mind. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Cody Sturgis. I'm a full-time realtor from the Durham region, Ontario. And with me, you can experience the difference. Starting with number five, let's talk about why you should move to Port Perry, Ontario. If you're thinking about moving to Port Perry, Ontario, let me tell you, it's the best when it comes to historical downtown cores and small town living. Nestled along Lake Scugog, this town offers a tranquil backdrop that makes everyday life feel serene. Imagine starting your day with a peaceful walk by the waterfront or exploring scenic trails and finishing at your favorite cafe like the Pantry Shelf, Louis, Nexus, or the Piano Cafe, or bakeries like Hank's, Miss Fields Bakery, Cupcake Junkie, just to name a few. Make sure you put all of these in your must-tries you will not be disappointed. What I love most about Port Perry is the sense of community though. Here, it's easy and it feels like home. Neighbors quickly become friends. They're always ready to lend a hand and share a laugh. It's the kind of place where people genuinely look out for each other, making it feel like you're part of something special, which, if I'm being honest, is pretty rare nowadays. And if you ever need a taste of city life, you're just a short drive away from Oshawa, Whitby, and a bit further is Toronto. You can enjoy the convenience of urban amenities while coming back to the peacefulness of your small town haven. Coming in at number four, why shouldn't you move to Port Perry, Ontario? When considering a move to Port Perry, Ontario, it's important to weigh both the benefits and the challenges. This charming town offers a lot of appeal with its picturesque setting along Lake Scugog and a tight-knit community with one of the best historic downtown cores. However, there are a few things to keep in mind as you make your decision. Port Perry's small size means that job opportunities might be more limited compared to larger cities. If career advancement is a top priority to you, this could be a significant factor to consider unless you don't mind a longer commute. That being said, I do know of a lot of people who enjoy the commute as a lot of it's rural driving and it gives them that separation from the office and home life that they need. Additionally, while the town is quaint and peaceful, its distance from major urban centers and cities might not suit those who thrive in a bustling city environment. Seasonal tourism can bring a lot of vibrancy to Port Perry, but it also comes with increased traffic and noise, which can disrupt the town's usual quietness. If you're someone who loves a lively nightlife, you might find Port Perry's options a bit limited to borderline, let's be honest, non-existence. The town is more suited for those who appreciate quiet evenings over vibrant social scenes. Guys, if you like this video and you want to learn more about Port Perry before making your move, check out my playlist titled Your Guide to Living in Port Perry, Ontario for a lot more information. Moving on to number three. What are the best places to live in and near Port Perry, Ontario? When I think about living in Port Perry, I can't help but feel excited about the variety of charming options. That being said, if you want a full breakdown of the top seven places to live in Port Perry, check out my latest video titled, Top Seven Places to Live in Port Perry, Ontario. Downtown Port Perry stands out with its historic charm, unique shops, and breathtaking views of Lake Scugog. It's the perfect blend of old world character and modern convenience, right in the heart of everything that the town has to offer. There's also Castle Harbor, which is just north 
of downtown Port Perry along Simcoe Street. Known for its sprawling estates with large homes, this area is perfect for families who want to grow and enjoy more privacy. With a suburban feel, it's a quiet place to get away while still being close to all the benefits of town. Port Perry shops, restaurants, cafes, and other services are easy for residents to get to. Exciting new projects like the proposed Lakeside Community may bring a lot of change to this area and are currently being hotly contested by many residents in the area. I'm personally very curious to see what's going to happen with this new development. The community of Cockers Creek which is located just west of Port Perry Fairgrounds, comprises mainly of new homes by Cedar Oak Homes. There are many young families with kids in this community, as it's within walking distance to S.A. Cocker Public School, which is actually where I attended from kindergarten all the way up to grade 8, and it's also close to Good Shepherd Catholic School. It's within walking distance to the Scugog Arena, which has a couple of ice pads, along with a large variety of programs for children of all ages. I know many people that have attended these camps and programs, and they're always in high demand. So I really recommend, if you want to, these programs, book early. I also remember going to some of these pretty epic sports camps held in Scugog Arena during my summer breaks. Coming in at number two, is Port Perry a safe place to live? Port Perry, Ontario is a really safe and lovely place to live. Its low crime rate stands out, especially when you compare it to busier cities. What really makes Port Perry special is its close-knit community. Neighbors here tend to look out for each other, which adds an extra layer of security and peace of mind. That being said, no place is completely free of risk, but the strong sense of community in Port Perry helps keep things laid back and safe. So if you're wondering if Port Perry is safe, the answer is a resounding yes. Last but not least, number one. Let's talk about the real estate market in Port Perry. If you're thinking about buying a home in Port Perry, Ontario, you're looking at real estate markets that blend stability and opportunity. The average detached home price here is around $1,106,943 as of the time of this video, reflecting the town's appeal and desirability. There are currently 75 new listings, which of 74 of them are detached homes, which gives you a very clear picture of how the real estate landscape looks here. You will not see many condos or apartment buildings in Port Perry that are for sale, although there are a few for rent. Port Perry offers beautiful scenery, a close-knit community, and a variety of amenities, making it an attractive place for individuals and families alike. With a historic downtown, amazing locally owned shops and restaurants and cafes, a beautiful waterfront community, a solid job market, and a high quality of life, Port Perry is one of the ultimate places for many to call home. Before we jump into the bonus tip, if you got any value from this video, I need to ask you a small favor. Could you do three quick little things for me? Leave a comment about what you liked about this video, like it, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it as it helps me to be able to make more content. Now, as promised, the bonus tip is the popular attractions in Port Perry, Ontario. When I talk to my clients about Port Perry, Ontario, they're always excited to share their favorite spots. Willow Tree Farm is a mecca for sustainable farming and fresh food with a market, cafe and bakery, butcher shop on site, and an animal experience and playground. Everyone has an absolute blast here. There's also Nature's Bounty. It's a go-to for pick your own apples with 24 varieties. If you're looking for a bit more action, the Great Blue Heron Charity Casino and Hotel is the place to be on Scugog Island with a lively atmosphere and a wide variety of games. Just don't forget to gamble responsibly. 
Families also love Palmer Park for its amazing waterfront views and activities that help keep everyone entertained. And if you're into antiques, Redmond Antique Barn is a treasure trove of unique finds. Port Perry really has something for everyone, and each place adds its own special touch to its delightful town. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you want to learn more about Port Perry, Ontario before making your move, be sure to check out my entire playlist on Port Perry titled Your Guide to Living in Port Perry. Otherwise, drop any comments that you have below, and we'll see everyone in the next video.